statistically speaking. We can see that. But the good news for Maxime is now he gets a break. He gets black against Megan. Yes. Yeah. And we got another inv invited guest and pawn in the. Uh, More pawn to d4. That or looks is like that e4. pawn to e4 to me. Wow, he can go. He can go left. He can go right. Through the center, triple threat that Magnus got. What do you think their lifetime score is, Carlson, MBL in all formats? Didn't look it up, but it's probably pretty good for Magnus. He has a pretty dominating score against most of the top yes. players. Yeah. Yes, I would assume that that's the case. I do recall Maxim beat him once in the Sinkfield Cup, but overall, I'm sure Magnus is ahead. Gets rid of the jacket and the Sicilian. Yeah. MVL, one of the last night of aficionados out there when the rest of the top players. They've all become Berlin guys. I like Berlin, how Berlin Petrov. I like how you switched to Spanish there. Aficionados? Uh, yeah. We can yeah. say aficionados, but I like how you put the the, the strong Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Thank you. Nice. Let's see if we get a knight off main. Or are we going to get a bishop b5 check? Or are we going to get some bishop c4? Or what are, what, what are we going to get? Are we going to get queen takes d4? So many options. Curious what Magnus has got yeah, Magnus cooking. Probably hasn't spent a lot of time preparing for this. Knight c3, so love he it. Might, he might mix it. What do you love about it? Great move. <laughs> now, he's, now he's going to go e5. I know what he's going to do. Is he? Is he actually going to go e5? No. What? Mm -hmm. I bet you didn't expect that one. I told you I knew he was going to No, you him. didn't. Um, Bishop <laughs> took place. <laughs> and the point is, if black plays e5, then you put the bishop on c4 Whoa. with a delay. But if black plays a6, indicating he wants to play mm -hmm. the knight off, then white is probably not going to play pawn to d4. But either going to play pawn to a4, asking black again, what do you want to do? You want to go e5? Then I'll go bishop c4. We play this boring structure. Or do you want to put your knight on c6? Then I'll play d4. And you won't be playing your typical position because you committed your knight here. So it's a wow, somewhat um, small sideline that Magnus is choosing, showing that so yeah, he doesn't want a theoretical debate. Just to be absolutely clear, you've actually looked at this position before. Yeah, of course, I've spent a lot of my free time studying, which should be two. Really? Yeah. What's the difference? One drawback is knight c6 now, when yeah. the best move is pawn to d4, yeah. takes, takes, and we play a classical where the bishop yeah. on e2 is not great, so black can play pawn to e5 now. Okay. But Magnus could also, after knight c6, you know, keep the tension, go go short castles, and once again invite Maxim to play pawn to e5 when he wants to do this bishop c4 business. But then black could play g6 and switch to a good version of the dragon. And yeah, pawn to e5 on the board, bishop c4, bishop e7. White is losing a tempo compared to um, more standard lines like knight c6, knight c3, and pawn to e5 here, where the bishop goes to c4 in one go. Well, I guess his argument is, in such a close structure, the loss of tempo. It's not fatal. What's the tempo between friends? Is there another way to wait there, just as I'm getting the creative juices flowing? Can you go h3 instead of bishop e2? Is that, is that a move? No. Because... why? I don't know. Why is a3 not a move? Well, no, because after a6 you want to go a4. Mm -hmm. But h3... Similar, similar concept, no? I don't know. If I go a6... a4? Yeah. Yeah, and again, if you go e5, I go bishop c4 in one go, and I can claim that h3 is more useful than the double bishop move. Mm -hmm. And if you... But knight c6 lines might not be. Then Still, maybe no. you can pitch it to Magnus for his next game. Okay, I will. In the break, I'm going to do precisely that. Can I also yeah, copyright it? Delighted. Can Please. I copyright it? Yes, every chess move can be copyrighted. I think they can. All right, we've got this position here, which is kind of fine for black. Um, Normally white has to move here. Normally white gets to play knight d2. Now it's black to move. Yeah. But the the way players have tended to deal with this is, well, there have been a few ways. Um, 
I'm curious how MBL wants to deal with it though. Mm -hmm. Maybe castle? I'm not sure. Maybe he'll go knight c6 first, just in case knight a5 is a threat. Yeah. And now do you have to take a time out here as Magnus? Probably do, yeah? No, it's not a threat at all. Uh -huh. No? Okay. Yeah. You don't think he's... Okay. Magnus, he usually likes to play bishop g5. Yeah, he does. Get rid of this guy. And plug a knight in here. But after bishop g5, I would guess Maxime will mm. try to offer the exchange of bishops. Mm. Also a stand-up maneuver. Yeah, it's not much. It's kind of just trying to get a, a random position that is non-theoretical where you can play. But it's definitely not much for white. He does yeah. go bishop g5. Who knew? Now I mean, black faces decision. Even, well, I like e so. even castling is just fine. Yeah. Takes, takes, knight d5 is just so what? It's not winning or anything, but typically. Yeah. He likes this type of position. And against Maxime, maybe he's saying. Maxime likes, you know, the board on fire. Let's play more close structure. Okay. Yeah. okay. Let's see. It's interesting. Meanwhile, we've got a, a, a Sicilian f I haven't seen since Gary Lane played it in the Torquay Open in 1989. Yeah, Rapport going his own way. Friedman successful in, in mainline French last game. So Rapport is saying not today or not again today. Plays 2d3 and Daniel plays c5, not going mm -hmm. d5. Transposing to Sicilian. We get some hybrid close Sicilian, but a little different because white is not committed to knight to c3 yet. So a slightly better version for white of whatever these positions are. I think this is called the big clamp if you put the pawn on c3 rather than the knight on c3. I think it's called the big clamp. New English weekend <laughs> <laughs> circuit players. Call your random anti-Sicilians. Whatever you want to call them. To be honest though, I'm not in love with it for white and you don't like the big clamp? I'm not a big fan of the big clamp. Oh. No. I think uh, Daniel can be very happy that he's going to get chances. Um, yeah, it's just a close Sicilian, with, and it's not played that much nowadays for various reasons. But uh, I'd be curious to see how Richard wants to do it. If he wants to go really old school English weekend circuit. Castle c3, queen e1, g4, queen h4. Could do, because it's just a reverse dutch, um, effectively. Let's see if he goes, let's see if he goes c3 and then queen e1. Yeah, he goes c3 for sure, and then ask black what he does. Probably black doesn't want to play d5, because then after e5, it's slightly, no, I don't think slightly you want to, awkward with do the you bishop want to go e5? You never tend to go e5 here. Nah, I think you want to go e5. Mm. Huh. Let's agree to disagree. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm still right. And that's why Friedman goes d6. Okay. Not allowing this d5 e5 business. And now yeah, you have choice. You can make any move in the world. a4, a4 queen e1, knight a3. Knight a3. Whatever gets your juices flowing, white has a broad, broad choice. He goes and a4. he goes a4, trying to stop b5, b6 play. put the knight on a3 now, 100%. 100%? Yeah, I would, I would say it's close to 100%. Wow. There you go. 100%. That's why they call me... The big clamp? The big clamp. <laughs> no, of course not. When you, you play a4 to play knight a3. Uh -huh. And if the guy goes bishop a6, you can put the knight on b5. That's why Daniel's gone rook b8. Yeah, now the next good. move is not so clear. I'm going to go for king h1. Interesting. And I'm nowhere near my 100%. It's not 100%? No, I'm going to say it's... Bishop b3 is an option? No, he's going to go king h1, 37.5%. Interesting. Yeah. How often is he going to play bishop e3? He's going to play bishop e3 29% of the time. Mm -hmm. Any other moves? g4 uh, is a bit premature. g4 is too premature, yeah, he's four, not going to do it. f5, not It's happening. bishop e3 or king h1, and that's about it exclusively. That's it? Yeah. He goes, for the, he goes for the 29%, which is... So if it's bishop e3 or king h1, mm -hmm. why was one 37 and the other 29? There was all the other little, like, the, the queen e1s and the h3s, and they all composed the, the rest of the moves. Can, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 
I've got it all. It's all in. It's all. It's all in the database. Okay. Yep. So which we three played? Yeah. And now Daniel's going to try and complete development. He'll probably put no, the bishop on b He might have a little think. If he wants to go for a6, b5, or if he just wants to play random moves like bishop b7, queen d7. Not clear to me, but maybe a6 you get hit by d4. Yeah. I wasn't he's, sure. <laughs> he's going to play bishop b7 here. Daniel's, Daniel's a professional. He wants to oh. connect things. And then he, he deep, yeah, because then he falls a little bit loose, right? After bishop b7, d4, I can maybe even think about taking. Yeah, it's still possible. And then maybe, the, I've even got f5 ideas. I mean, I'm not sure, yeah. I've got some ideas. Or knight b4, knight a5. It's a little bit loose. d5 is not ridiculous here. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> <coughs> this structure. It's probably you the word. do not want. But well, <laughs> even the, but okay. How bad is f five here? I'm curious. Oh, really also pretty bad. Probably well, knight b four was good. Yeah, knight g five, queen d ah d five is really crushing. Yeah, this is this is very bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can get behind this being. But yeah, well, he has to play bishop b seven first, which I think he will play. Um. And the, I, I don't think he's going to go d4, actually, there. Oh, no, the, the thing with bishop b7 is it doesn't match well with rook b8. Since he already yeah. went rook b8. He put the bishop on a6. E6, don't like it. The knight comes to b5. No, knight b5 can block it's him. Like Maybe then he wants bishop b7. Oof. Then kick it with a6. Deep. I actually like it. Ooh. I like it. I really like it. After knight b5, bishop b7. You're like a candle in the wind. Elton John? Oh, yeah, you're like Elton John. I am like Elton John. <laughs> in some ways. <laughs> in many ways. <laughs> we both like a fry up. We're both from England. And we've both got no hair. Yeah, that's exactly what we're thinking. That's yeah. what you were thinking. Yeah. Oh, and we, we both like certain areas of the park. We like the park. Uh, like the park? Yeah, park life. That's, uh -huh. that's blur. That's blur. Yeah. You're a bit like Damon Albarn. Too. I am, actually. I listened to a bit of Park Life the other day. Uh -huh. In the park, ironically. It's fascinating stuff. It was, yeah. Okay, Bishop A6, Let's very Let's look cool. briefly at Ding Ooh. versus Keimer. This is This is spicy. another Vincent Keimer special. He likes his Nimzos and then playing pawn to D6. He feels very strongly about it. And, you know, he wow. insists on his weird openings. Well, looks like he's still in book. He's definitely. blitzing out all the moves, pawn to e5. Non-standard play from Keimer, normally after knight f3. People castle, or play c5, or d5. But Vincent, he's a fan of this d6 setup. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Queen to c2, bishop d2, typical stuff by Ding. He wants to recapture here with the bishop, leave the queen Cover the e4 square, pawn to b6, and pawn to e4, pawn to c5. Yeah, this is probably still known to Keimer. And Ding already took 10 minutes, so he has to find his way here through this Vincent homework. You know, Vincent in Germany is known for building lots of opening trees. Yeah, I know. He, I was going to get him a shovel for his birthday, but um, I don't know how that would go. Maybe he'd misinterpret it. How would he mis misinterpret like it? Like he was digging his own grave. Ah, got it, got it. No, no, he, he plants more trees than a gardener. Sure. No, he's, he was on the German program, I saw it, Yeah. talking about the trees. Did you see me on the program? Many, many years ago, the same one, right? No, oh, I was the same on one. the show where he was. I was dropping knowledge about Vincent. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. I did see you. But you were on, was it ZDF? Yeah. Years and years and years ago, do you remember? I don't remember. There was a show, like, maybe 10, 15 years ago. You were on the TV. Oh, you were interviewed by a lady there, and, sh you know, uh -huh. you were talking about chess. Uh -huh. You might as well have been talking about tiddlywinks. What's tiddlywinks? That game where you you kind of flick the little disc and you have to kind of put it in, in a cup. Anyway, oh, okay. you were very good, I have to say. Thank you, thank you. Um, 
Yeah. No, you, it was, you were much younger, more hair, yeah. the curly, big hair. Do you remember that? Yeah. Mm. Uh, more like, more optimistic about life and the world. Yeah. Just making it for oh, the okay. cameras. Okay. Magnus, after Bishop G5. 97 was played, offering the exchange of bishops. Yep. Carlson takes. And now, 95, queen d8, logical enough. He goes h4. Mm -hmm. So aggressive. Pawn to h6. Maxime does not want any knight g5 business. Yeah, I was going to say, after castles, you go knight g5 immediately, right? Just immediately. Pre move. Pre move knight g5. Doesn't work, but I h6 and you go queen h5 and you just carry on. Yeah. And a6, queen g6. That's beautiful. That yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Oh. oh, baby. You should have allowed this because it's pretty. This is so pretty. Checkmate. By the way, yeah. I've still got the eye. I might be out the game, but I can still see it. Very impressive. Happy with that? No. No, okay. I, I was quite happy with that one. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. Very nice. Queen G6. Put that on the board again for the, for the folks at home. That's, that's thematic. So knight G5, the point is after H6 you go queen H5. And it All the Zonses we should mention. Knight F6 and black is of much course. better. But <coughs> Apart from that. So the folks at home don't get tempted. Yeah, like this, this is just queen G6. This is beautiful. Threatening checkmate. And the double check. It's and even if, you, if you're a genius and you try to bail out, you're still in trouble. Yeah. Because now oh. we take the rook. Yeah. I actually didn't even see that, but yeah. You, you just have to be tempted by queen g6. You should, oh. go, you should go here to oh. rub it in. We don't even need the double check. Oh my goodness, that's too much. That's actually too much. Rook f7 and knight g6 mate is just way too much. That's, that's way too much. Okay, we're, okay, we're, we're having around. fun, we're having fun, we're having fun. <laughs> um, instead, after h4, h6 was played, pawn to c3, knight f6, yeah. Yeah. and knight d2 back to yeah. shuffling. But it looks to me like black is perfectly fine, actually. I'm not so sure about this h4 move, no. to be honest. No, knight e7, whatever, bishop goes somewhere. Castle. Now we castle, then bishop e6, or d5 one day. Looks like black is doing great. Great for black. Yeah, and that's the problem with this opening. You try and avoid a Nidorf by playing, you know, losing a tempo, but ultimately it's a full tempo on a, on a well-known line where black is already doing okay. So this is just not really much of a, an attempt. I'm just looking forward to pitching my H3. To yeah, Magnus. please do. I will, yeah. Meanwhile, uh, so that's, that's looking good for MBL. Uh, back to Rapport quickly. Very, very quickly. So we've had a few moves. He didn't actually play knight e5. He played bishop f2, queen d7, rook e1. You're That's preferring a d4. Ah, okay, he wants to prefer d4. Rook b d8 and d4, I guess. Yep, looks logical. But yeah, but also delayed, but. <coughs> but takes, takes knight b4. It's a little bit loose for white. Yeah. Mm, you're uh, threatening to jump to d3. Yeah. Ah, I got it. Yeah. I don't love I it. Play you some clumsy move. Yeah, it's way too clumsy, rook e3. And then you get hit by this f5 at some point, and then the d5 square, and then you can just lose. Oof. Actually, this is a disaster. So I actually. <laughs> White is better. It's <laughs> not a disaster. At f5? All. White is better? Oh my god. I would take black all day here. Mm -hmm. What, you have some random queen b3? And no, you just calculate it. You just calculated everything? Okay. <laughs> Fe4, you just calculate it and everything's there. Just rook takes e4 and you're not worried about a knight landing on d5 like any human in the world. You just be. <laughs> 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 no, I understand e6 is weak, but I, things have to be calculated as well, right? Uh -huh. Anyway. Okay, D4, he's not going to go for us. Knight c2 was also typical, uh, typical yeah. move. Like Gary Lane would play knight c2. Gary Lane would play. No, Gary Lane would play king h1. Yeah, Gary Lane would have the rook on e1. He would leave yeah. it for the queen. 
So knight c2, is there any other clever move here? Queen d2, stop slide before. Nah. That's a clever. Uh -huh. Queen d2, knight a5. Ooh. True. I don't like queen d2. Queen c2. Queen c2, I like more. No, first queen d2. Uh, if I have queen c2. Oh, you just want to protect the pawn. Uh -huh. Okay. Stop the fork. Big choice here for Rapport. Yeah. He's studying the situation. Probably thinking about d4 takes, takes, knight b4, rook e3. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go for it, personally. Yeah. Uh, you can't play g4 either because you get hit by... No, so g4, f5, you yeah. don't want it, usually. Maybe h4, you know, these modern kids no. and their h-pawns. Oh, he does go d4. Surprised. Big surprise. I am surprised. Okay, this isn't Maybe now... Missed. Good. Well, no, this is just getting critical now. And Daniel... Uh, I think Daniel plays these positions really well. I think... Really? I've never seen him play a position like that at all. <laughs> no, I mean, in general, you know, I just don't think, you know, if you're going to play Daniel, I think you're giving him everything he wants. Um, uh -huh. He's really good at finding squares. and uh -huh. It's a bit like finding Nemo, but finding squares. Okay. He's just... He's just really good at these kinds of positions. I think Daniel is... Yeah, so think, his strength is finding squares. Yes. His weakness is... Not finding <laughs> squares. Not, not finding. Uh -huh. He takes... Yeah, maybe he found the d3 square. Yeah, I think he found the d3 square. Rapport right. could bail out with knight takes d4, which is not uncommon in these positions. Either. It wouldn't surprise me if he plays knight takes d4. Uh -huh. It would not surprise me one bit. But then it's kind of like Black's position makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't look too scary. No. Meanwhile, Ding has put his knight on f5. Whoa. That's a Ding lot. good at finding squares or it's not his specialty? Mm. I think he's just... Yeah, of course he's good at finding squares. Mm -hmm. I think to be, in order to be a top player, you have to be able to find squares. So they're all good at finding squares? They're all pretty good at finding squares, but some are better than others at finding squares. Yeah, takes takes d5 is let's go kind of serious. It's this typical thing where you give up the two bishops, but then you open the position quickly because normally white had to pay a price to get these two bishops in the form of lagging behind in development. So this old wisdom, or never really was wisdom, that you should keep the position close against the two bishops is usually inaccurate because if you wait here, white is going to be better for surely two castles for rook on d1. So you have to make something happen before white is fully developed. Mm -hmm. Vincent weighing his options here, but takes on d5, looks very principled. But if he doesn't do that, let's say he just decides to get some pieces out, which is also reasonable. The problem is rook d1 is coming, so you're, you kind of have to take on d5, on f5 at some point, right? Probably, yeah. Wow, that could get super sharp. Actually, they're all getting a bit sharp, which is good for us. Oof. And Rapport, when C takes D4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Daniel will be over the moon. Yeah, finding all these squares. He's now on a pure square finding mission. I think I'll talk to Peter about this tonight. Lego. Sounds great. Yeah, I'm sure. He can't wait to chat. He's with watching. You about Hi, Peter. About what squares to find. Hi, Peter. I don't think he's watching. I think he's. Uh, what do you think he's doing? He's in bed drinking. Drinking tea. Chamomile tea. Yeah. Watching. Not well, watching anything. No, Peter loves to watch uh, football hooligan movies. Yeah, but not his not. favorite genre. Whose isn't? I like it. The Firm. Gary Oldman. Really recommend it. Probably the best. The Firm? Yeah, yeah. It's an old British... It's an old BBC film. You've got to watch it. The Firm, it's Gary Oldman. Tom Cruise, no? No, no, no. The Firm, Gary Oldman. Everybody here, you like your, your, your British um, hooligan, football hooligan movies? That's the one Peter Lecco is currently going to be watching if he's not. Night before? Problem. Night before, he found the square. No, no. He's on the square finding mission. He hasn't yeah, found, he found this. Already, or well, he's found it. it but he's looking for this one. Okay, then he's on the landing mission. Uh -huh. So rookie three covers it, or knight b five. If knight b five, I think. Is too clumsy. Yeah, knight b five is his idea. Yeah, I like rookie three. 
There's no way he's playing rookie three. That's What's the Richard. percentages? It's like 95, 100 percent. No, 95 is like 75 percent. Rookie three is 25 percent, uh -huh. approximately. What's special with one? Zero percent? Um, yes. 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 Meanwhile, Ding has castled Queenside, which is actually very exciting. But Vincent hasn't played d5. Come on, yeah. Vincent. Rook c8? No, this is. Let's just talk about it. Okay, nice. Off screen. Okay. While we're waiting for the 75%. Rapport, might be 5, 75%. Yeah. I know Richie. <laughs> yeah, I'm no bigger mm -hmm. Richie expert than you. Are you a big Richie expert? No. Oh, okay. Richie's like the player I wish I could have been. Uh huh. Because for years and years he played utter garbage, uh -huh. and then he got serious, and then he just became a super genius. I mean, he was always a super genius, but super reliable top ten grandmaster. Uh -huh. So Magnus did some funky stuff here. Knight to have one. And MBL goes king h8. Yeah. That's provocative. Very provocative because it's begging for g4, g5 going with the king to the h file before the white has castle. And white will replay h4, knight e3, queen g6. More provocation. Not sure what Maxime's doing there. Like he could have played knight e7, bishop e6, some boring stuff. But he's asking for it. Maybe he's in the mood for action after this last game, mm -hmm. but ask and you shall be given. g4, knight d8, headed for f4, queen f3, looks very scary all of a sudden, these pawns, the knight can jump here. Yeah, he wants to put a knight on f4. So a6. Ah, here maybe you can take, because the f rook is unguarded but it's probably not much after takes bishop takes e6 right but it's a little bit unpleasant because after bishop takes f5 you can always take yeah, the e pawn never take. <clears throat> maybe it's fine for black but it's tricky if you can get in a timely d5 it's it's probably good for black hmm. so here it goes but for 96 there are different options of course knight d5 Cover the f4 square. If you go g5, you just go h5. Yeah, that's not, that's not doing much. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, got complicated. Rookie 2. So rook c8, rookie 2 in the rapport game. Covering the c2 square. Uh -huh. Dying in front of square. And now rook a8 is just begging to be played. <laughs> no, it's not. Mm. It's never, he's never playing rook a8 in a million nice years. Pretty little move covering the pawn in order to take it. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's, it's hard to play. It's really hard to play. So, what move is Daniel Friedman going to play here? What's the sort of move Daniel would play? Um, hmm. He might play rook a8. No, that's a 10% move. <laughs> you never want to play d5. Generally. No. Also allows knight e5, f5 also looks very weakening. So, what is there? Yeah, it's it's not it's not straightforward. Maybe you could fish for some squares here, but then your pieces are also a bit tied up all of a sudden. Yeah, bishop e1 is this a is very a nice strong move. Stopping knight yeah. e5. Yeah, you can't do that actually. Hmm, this is a this one I, I I'm I'm really unclear about. So um, you think it's rook a8, 10%, and then 90% unknown? Well, rook a8, rook c7 are 10% each, and then maybe there's five or six other moves. So. Yeah, this is a nice move. Uh -huh. Yeah. If takes, takes. And if not, yeah. you're threatening to take here. I mean, there's something so, so awful about it, but at the same time... Same. Friedman yeah, takes directly. Yeah. Don't know. What were the odds? No, that was a 10% move. 
as well. Takes, they were about queen yeah. takes. No white will take on a seven. Yeah, no white is a bit better. I think he wants Get to go the knight, center, the knight e c six here. That's what he wants. But now maybe Rapport finds the A3 square. Yeah, I think he will definitely find that square. And now, yeah, the Queens... Don't love this. Don't love it? Okay. Nope. That's okay. Yep, a tough position though. Can't, can't be too critical, I would say. Why not? Um, well, you can be critical, of course. Just not too critical. Yeah. It's a really no, tough that's stuff. for you here. Yeah, I'm going to so need no, some yeah. of this stuff. Had a long day. I have had a long day, and I'm going to need some additional drugs to uh, oh. to keep me going. This is not advertising, by the way. Oh, interesting. Um, in this game, knights. Yeah, Vincent didn't play d5. Looked like d5 was begging to be played. He went knight to six, which is natural, but no, at least Ding got his king to the queen side and d5. It's a little tougher to do with this rook already on the default. So rook c8 is logical. And the ding goes queen d3. Not worried about development. He's just saying, give me that pawn. Not sure he actually wants it. I think he mainly wants to get out of the c file. And Why doesn't he hard. want it? Ah, uh, 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 thank you. Uh, sure. So then he wants so but so basically if Ding is given four moves in a row he's going to go oh, King, King B one F two. Oh, you don't think he wants to go F three? No. No. Why well, should we two? Develop a bit. And then G four G five. Yeah. This this can actually like if you don't organize D five quickly here as Vincent if G four lands on the board it's over actually strategically. Oh. Right. I guess it depends, but it's certainly dangerous it's very, for Vincent. Yeah, this is. He has to act quickly now. This is uh, this is definitely dangerous. Just go d5 anyway. Who cares? Here? Wow. Live a little. King b1. Yeah, I haven't found all the squares here yet. So. You got to find this. You know how important it is to find the squares, right? Yeah. So, oh, no, sorry, so bad. I, I, you just want to take on f5 with check. Yeah. Yeah, and this is probably, obviously fine for, like, bishop d3. Yeah, I'm and not so sure. So bishop, I guess. No. Nah. Like, is a little better, but not that much. Nah. Nah. Yeah, this looks logical enough. Wow, he might go d5 here. Yeah, I agree. I like it. It's very concrete. It's very concrete. Oh. It's not the time for Cemento. No. Um, MBL Carlson, we've had Bishop D7, so a bit of waiting. Um, but. Uh, Saying if you castle, I'll be ready to go B5. But so, so bishop. what? Bishop D5? Yeah, it's not winning. What are you saying? I mean, I would castle here every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Uh -huh. I don't think Magnus going to castle. Castling is a 22% move-ish. Other moves are a4, queen g3, knight f5. But I actually think he is going to castle. I think he's going to say, you know what, MBL? I'm not afraid of, I'm not afraid of b5. He okay. might play king d2, but maybe that's a bit too sophisticated. Yeah, that's a zero percent. Zero percent? Yeah. He's not playing king d2. Okay. If he plays king d2, will you walk out and never yeah. come back? Gladly. Okay. <laughs> Gladly. Okay. Gladly, he says. Like, retire from chess, leave the chess world. <laughs> <laughs> I retired a long time ago. <laughs> I'd l please play king b2 one time. The rook takes a7 played yeah. by Rapper. I'm not sure why it took so long for that one. Probably yeah. calculating knight d3 because rook c1 is a threat. Ooh. 
or squares. Yeah, it's, this is this is only about squares. Mm. And he does it. Just Ooh. slides it in there. Now this is actually quite interesting because you can't actually uh, like if you go rook c2, which is a natural reaction, does that just lose? I don't know. Feels like it loses. It looks terrible. Yeah, queen mm -hmm. b3. Yeah, it felt. That's it. That's the end of the game. Wow, so you have to go bishop f1 here. Yeah. Oh. That doesn't lose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bishop f1 looks nice. Yeah, but uh, you can take, take, queen e8, protect the knight, and then you've got the dark square bishop. C1, Queen D2. Yeah. It's but all tied up. But he's gonna let's see. Yeah, play Bishop F1. Yeah. Yeah, I guess white is a little better, but not by that much. Takes takes. The queen has to go all the way back, not the praise of moves, but good to them. The knight can jump. No, but I think you take black here. Yeah. The, the, the dark square bishop is just so massive here. Why? What's it doing? Well, it's going to come alive. Oh. That's a good question, actually. We don't have a good lever here. Yeah. Am I just... Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. But it's taken me love you anyway. It's taken me 30 years to realize I've got no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's just dawned on me. Why am I here? Lack of other options at short <laughs> notice. <laughs> That's actually the truth. Oh boy. Mm. G5! Angus. Didn't Oof. play King D2. That's, that's a big relief. G5 is still slightly surprising to me because I thought he wants to keep keep this tension on the king side and reserve both op both options. I think H5 he wants H5. to go h5, knight f5. That's possible. But ah, so knight e6, we just don't care about knight takes d6. I don't know. Knight f4, oh. and we just <laughs> sacrifice. So knight b7, queen b6 loses a knight. G4 is there. Um, and if knight f... Yeah, this is too dangerous. Yeah, and if knight f five after knight f four, how? Uh, what am I? Am I? Are we just. Yeah, okay, take take. Yeah, but I would take white here. Castle long. Huh. Bishop d five next. Bishop comes to e four. Oh. Okay, but the knight actually can't be moved from f four. This is quite a big problem. I've totally misunderstood this position. Probably fine for yeah. black. Yeah, I don't think he wants to do that then. So what does he want to do after h5? Because you have to go h5. I, well... That feels very likely. Maybe you don't have to go h5. I don't know what he wants. Seems taking his time here. What's he thinking about? Is he really thinking about allowing gh6? Looks so risky. Yeah. h5 looks so normal. We've still got loads of time, isn't he? He's got 30 minutes on the, on the clock. Meanwhile, we've had a bunch of trades in ding. What happened here? He took the pawn, he, he ignored my, my 94 mm. warning. Wow. Then to play queen c7, and ding what? took. Allowing knight e4, a bit surprised. d7, is he happy here? So knight f2, rook g1. Yeah, knight f2. I'm also a bit curious if knight c3 is an oh, option, yeah. but. <laughs> knight f2, rook g1, some rook comes here, takes, takes. He wants but black to has to two. be doing fine here. Knight d4 or something, this is just. The pieces are just so well coordinated. Like, how can how can black ever be worse? Yeah, I don't think he is. Um, bit surprised, Ding allowed this whole business. 
Maybe he didn't like his position and thought it was time to bail out, but yeah, what can I say? I'm surprised. We played G4, like. Um, we do on the weekends. Was probably better move. Whoa! Rook C1 played by Daniel Friedman. That's which a mistake, that's as a we've learned earlier, because you're too tangled up after queen d2. So now the point is that. Take, we take. If you go rook c8, then we can take. No, the e7 five. knight's hanging, yeah. Hold on, queen d2. And if you move the. Let's say you move. I don't know. Um, what can you move? You can move this guy. Rook a3. Oh, your pieces are hanging now. Well, that, I'm actually surprised. Maybe you spotted the square. But now, uh, my e1. Whoa. Bad, actually. A bunch of different ways, and yeah, with these black pieces falling all over each other, it's not too surprising. It's, it's not working. <sighs> this could be bad news for Daniel. He found the squares, but he didn't. Yeah, he, he found them, but then he claimed them too quickly. Yeah. He invaded too quickly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you've got to dance around the squares. Chess is like a dance, a ritual. Mm -hmm. Your pieces dance around certain areas. Sometimes you've got to put your foot in and sometimes not. And Unfortunately, Daniel has put his foot in it too early. Yeah, that was very instructive. Thank you for, <laughs> for sharing. Jonathan Rousen's watching. This will be in the, the next chapter of the Seven Deadly Sins. Of so you're saying chess is like a dance. Sometimes you've got to put your foot in and sometimes you don't. Correct. So queen d2 forced. Yeah, this is just I I instantly played. If he were to go here, then... Oh, he's banking on queen h5. Counter. <gasps> queen h5, and all of a sudden. Oh. It all makes sense again, but he's Richard is not going to allow that. To. No, he's not. Well, after queen d2, queen h5 doesn't work, because the That's knight on d3 is still en prise. Queen A4 would be a gift from the gods. Where's Rapport? Is he even there? He's walking around? He's walking around. It's a rapid game. Sit at the board, Richard. Plenty of time. He doesn't have that much time. 23 minutes? What's he doing? It's plenty of time. Yeah. And MVL indeed did not play H5. Yeah, this is... This can get out of control pretty quickly. So after queen Lost takes, takes. Ah, because then knight f5. Queen takes, now knight f5. Oh my goodness, and there's a check on it. Oh my goodness, it's mate. Landing. Queen f4, queen h5, knight e7 is instructive. That would be checkmate, yeah. Yeah, that's... That would be unfortunate. Yeah, that Think. probably won't happen, but uh, I don't know. If he really you have to, to take with the h6, board? looks so ugly. Yeah. It seems, seems like he has to. Now yeah. he also is smiling to himself. Yeah, should be. I think he understands that... Yep, GH plate. Now, now either castles or king d2 to put rook on g1 is really... Is king d2 st still a 0% move? No, no, that would make some sense. Okay. <laughs> what, what would you estimate it at? Hard to say, but... 20%? Mm. Could be. Yeah. Looks like the most natural move in the, mo in the position to me. I don't know. Why isn't castles more natural? Um, future checks. Mm -hmm. The king is has the shadow knight check from the knight on f4, as Carsten Miller would say. Whereas on c1, it's, there is still some checks when the knight lands on f4. And you still want to go rook g1 anyway, so there's no additional benefit to having the king on c1. Fair enough. Didn't think about the shadow matches. 
Shadow Knight checks are a big thing. Yeah. 95. 95 played. Hate it. Why? Just feel like if black can play f5 in one go, and if, the, if it works, then... It's relying on some. Yeah, 97, some which I completely missed, by the way, obviously. And I would just... But okay, I did, and if I take... Well, there's Ooh. counterplay. Yeah. But it feels it's like... Something Maxim could do. Yeah, no, for sure. 100%. He's sleepy pieces. 100%. He's, in, he's looking at his... He's, he's yeah, five. I don't even need very long. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It's just okay, he gives the Magnus a look. Yeah, yeah. No, this was a... This was, this was a... This was poor yeah, by Magnus. Ali look. This was poor. This was done way... 95 was played way too quickly. King d2 keeps some squares. Was the way. Now, uh, Maxime is in his element. Uh, this is... Uh, now, I think, actually, uh, all three results back on the... Back on the table. Uh, yeah, surprising. Computer really says now to castle queenside. Would be weird to, to allow f5 F4. and then to do it. No, no. So I guess he was banking on 97, but yeah. maybe he underestimated that. Oops, sorry. Let's go to h7. That black gets so active here. Of course. That's so actually, so let's just try and understand it. So, ah, the point is you're threatening d5. That's the point. It takes rook f6. No, no, rook f6? That's what the compi says. What? Five oh my takes. goodness. And yeah, bishop c6. And you can feel black has all his activity yeah, on yeah, some, yeah. so something could go wrong. Yeah, yeah. no, this is, this is nasty. Magnus? No, 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 no. It's not the kind of thing you want to give Maxime no, like no, all no. his activity and all these tricks. So I'm a bit surprised by knight d5 as well. I don't know if king d2 or long castles or whatever, but get the king out of the way. Invite everyone to the party and then you think about where, where the knight goes. Probably Magnus thought that after king d2, knight f4, rook g1, queen f6 was mm, kind of I holding. Guess queen h5 maybe. But what? Well, Ah, yeah. queen h5 here. No, but I think queen f6 is, and importantly, knight d5, I can take it because I protect my queen. Amazing. And, yeah, okay, but yeah, it's not too bad there's no black threat. Black. Right. And I think this is probably the position that Magnus thought, yeah, this isn't that, that much, actually. Mm -hmm. Which might be true, but yeah. now he's in danger. Yeah, I, I actually think that uh, Maxime has got a serious chance. Look at Maxime, taking a little walk. Yeah. Enjoying himself. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's having a great time. Yeah. By the way, Ding against Kaima has just... Uh, Ding did take on... Evaporated. No, Vincent did take on C3. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. If you yeah. don't want to go for this Knight F2 business, you could just do this. And although white is a pawn up, it's not the prettiest pawn in the world with all these double pawns. Next, you bring your king, then you try to shuffle the knight around. I think it will be a draw, but I would take black every day of the week and twice on Sundays here. Mm -hmm. No, I'd take white. It's would you? Up, but yeah. but, how, fine. but how do you... If I put a king on e7 and a knight on d6, what, what's mm -hmm. your next move? Well, you can't make four moves at once. So I'll go bishop d3, rook e1. Ah, you play rookie one and you have f4. Yeah, okay. Right, okay. Agreed. Let's have a look at oh, we Daniel have the Friedman <laughs> and his squares, but no, he's just losing. No, 91 hasn't been played yet. That is true. But if he plays 91, it's just over, right? Or rookie one. Oh, rookie one is cute as well. Rook e1 is weird because there is actually this move and you can't oh, take on b5. Why? The rook's protecting f3. Ah, it's because double check. Double check. Oh my goodness. But what you can do is after knight takes e1 to go bishop takes e1 and all of a sudden. Yeah. Every black piece is under attack. Okay, there's no way he's playing knight e1. 
a rookie one, sorry. Just 91 is just, it's so much more human. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and 91 removing the defender of the rook is just. Yeah, like it's just overexposed. It's just it over. looked very, very active, but. Yeah. And after 91, Daniel's going to go for a think and he's going to realize he's busted. I, if he, he might realize it already, of course. Most probably. Rapport looks unhappy, though. Maybe he's nah. just trying to calculate. Richie is fine. Well, this is a fun round. Yeah. A lot of complicated positions. Not so fun for Daniel Friedman. Cause no. Looks like he's gonna gonna lose this one. Magnus Carlsen. Yeah, man, we can switch back. We'll report if Rapport has wrapped it up. But Magnus now in deep thought after allowing this F5. Probably also not thrilled about the overall situation. Compi said it's all fine. He should just castle queenside and he's in business. But yeah, but after castles queenside, what are you doing against FE4? Sorry. Okay. Oh, queen e3, but I thought just... No, but then I take take and take on f2, or yeah, you just... I noticed, but d6 is also sort of lose. Ah, uh, lose. Here we're doing all right. He did. And uh, yeah, he did play castle queenside after okay. prolonged think. Good decision. Maxine will probably push b5. Yeah. Very sharp. <coughs> 91 was played by Rapport. Yeah, that's over. That's really, I think, there's just no, this is not, you're just overload. This is like a beautiful case of overload, overload tactic. Uh -huh. I think, well, I think you jinxed Daniel with all the squares talk. Look how many squares he found. Look what it did for him. Peter Fiddler still hasn't forgiven me to this day. <laughs> right. <laughs> Peter, if you're watching, it's been a long time, my friend. I hope you're well, wherever you are. He's not watching, is he? No. no. He's watching something, but not chess broadcast. We're uh. watching cricket. Yeah. Some high stakes Hearthstone match or <coughs> some niche TV series. He has his stuff. Rook d5 by Ding. <coughs> F6. Where, what's the rook doing there, Ding? Actually, can this get a bit out of control? Yeah. No? Okay. I'd still take black, but... No. How ridiculous decisions. is the move c5 here? Probably fine. I mean, I know it's not a winning, op winning try, but just to make my... If I really don't think I've got genuine winning chances anyway. Yeah, because if you take, I can take, put the bishop on f3. You don't know, you're probably slightly worse with these dial pawns, so knight f7, knight d6. Well, I don't think you're worse here, to begin with. Um, yeah, so I can't quite. Uh, if you want to change something, you can do this. Oh, uh, yeah. But now I give the e5 square for the knight. Yeah, yeah. Just like We're never. We're up, I don't think. Like never loses it. this position ever, right? How do you lose? Slowly. King no. c2, a4, a5. King nah. comes over. Nah. Hmm. Rook goes to c5. Yeah, no, black should be fine. I don't see black losing this ever. Uh -huh. Ding in deep thought. Yeah, it's not straightforward at all. No, he could make some nothing move, but black's position is very easy to improve with this knight. 
coming to d6 or even c5 or a5 depending on the circumstances yeah then it's gonna be hard to make any progress not sure about this we're coming to d5 i think it's time to bail out play f4 mm -hmm. nope he plays king c2 and yeah knight b7 blitzed out and king b3 he's going forward what's going on here is this king it's pretty safe, actually. I mean, it's a draw. This king can't keep going forward because of the fork. And if king a4? Fair point. Let's see if then you can keep going forward. I mean, king b5? Uh, unstoppable. But we have more jumps. We do. We do. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So many arrows to draw. Okay, just king a6. Ah, but if you take on c3? No, no, no. Huh. Rook c7. I've got to be careful here as white, well, right? Yeah. But I think there's not too unlikely this whole knight c5, knight a6 business. Vincent, studying the situation. Well, so Vincent normally wants to keep the game going, so he probably won't be too thrilled by having spotted potential move repetition. But can he ever win this? Maybe four, f three. I don't think so. Yeah. We'll find out. Okay, keeping an eye on that. Daniel Friedman is yet to move, which is totally understandable because He's just coming to terms with the fact that the position is lost. He might Very lost. Resigned. He's just losing a piece. Yeah. <clears throat> Knight takes f2. Let's say many moves win, but just rook takes f2. Yeah, and, and this b4 is, a, is hanging. Under on. attack, this under attack, this under attack. Queen goes somewhere. White takes here. Just a whole piece down. And what else can you do? There's just nothing to do. Rook fc8 is the other logical move, but it doesn't no, threaten just enough. take on d3, yeah. yeah. That's it, it's down. just a piece, yeah. No, this, this might be resigned. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if he just resigned. Richard Rapport cruising. Looks like another one and a half out of two day for Richard yeah. Rapport in the making. Which would solidify his tournament lead. Okay, b5 played by MBL, by the way. Yeah, no surprise there, but the next move will be the real decision. Bishop b3 is going to happen. And now he has to make choices. Yeah, I wanted to play c4, I but. No, I know. Did you? Uh -huh. That seems like it's not good. Of course, that's, that's the first instinct. The Black King is also weakish, so <coughs> some stuff like this. This could very well happen. This looks lot logical, but uh, Compy Boy says White is better. I can Still believe very it. logical. You could see Maxime totally playing like that. What? Wow. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we shall see. So Friedman's lost, Keimer against Ding, Vincent now has his option to go knight a6 check, which I would blitz out hoping for the move repetition, but Vincent is wired differently, so I'm <laughs> not sure he's going to do that. Okay, let's stick with Magnus. Magnus making some faces, what's he thinking about? Are ah, you thinking about throwing in rook g1 right here, right now, or if you should wait with it? Mm. Queen has to go to h7. Yeah, he's 
trying to figure out in these FE4 lines if he wants that included or not. I don't have an answer. Me neither. Um, hmm. Still very complicated, even these end games. Yeah, you take a pawn. 97, we went in. White back. jumps around. Well, it's <sighs> super tricky. Chess is so hard. Yeah, why did we choose this game? Why didn't we choose something easy like drafts? Mm -hmm. Are we going to get a lot of heat from the drafts community now? I don't know what drafts is. Checkers. Checkers? Ah, oh, we call it drafts. Mm -hmm. I, I've never, I don't even know the rules. I know they they, move, they mm -hmm. move side in diagonal. And you jump over you jump enemy up. pieces, yeah, right? Exactly. And you can make a king and then it comes backwards, so they, they move like pawns, they can't go backwards. Uh -huh. And when you get to the end, you can make a king and. Sounds fun, I'll try it out. I'm very good at Connect 4. I thought you would be. Yeah. I, I, you're a connector. You're a natural connector. Yeah. You're a natural broker. You're a natural, you know, people person. Yeah. Yeah. Love people. Yeah. And connect for. I agree. Here's a view of the stage. A bit more old school, with the demo boards, of course, digital above nowadays. As I was saying to Jan before. I used to love the wooden demo boards. Mm -hmm. I remember doing the demo boards for British Championships when I was young. Mm -hmm. I think it was 97. Mm -hmm. I was doing a demo boards where it was four-way tie for, with, for Mickey was there, Matthew Sadler, I think. I used to look up to these guys and think, wow, I want to be there one day. And my dreams came true. They did? No. Nah. Still a beautiful story. No, I did. I actually did make board one of the British Championships, I think, once or twice. Congrats. There you can see the hall for tomorrow for the Open Tournament. It's a lot of boards to be set up. A lot of boards. You don't see all this work behind the scenes. Someone has to set up all these boards. Like yeah. 1,350 boards. Unbelievable. And they're not even all I'm set up. I'm too lazy yet. to set up one at home, frankly. I, I know. Do. Why you need all these cables? <laughs> you Sick. need a lot of cables, you need a lot of... I mean, it's kind of insane, but... The biggest tournament in the world, yeah. apparently. It's quite Impressive impressive. Stuff. Right here in Mariel, Deutschland. Mm. No, it's Karlsruhe. Karlsruhe. Magnus went bishop... No, he went rook g1, threw that in there. Yeah. Queen h7 and bishop b3. And now it's Maxime's turn to figure out. c4 or f takes e4. Look like the obvious follow ups. But there could be other moves. Bishop c6, I don't know. Do we have time for a5 or something? Probably not. So let's check this. f takes e. Queen takes e4 is obvious. Queen e3 is some computer suggestion, but it's too deep for me. In particular. I'd probably transpose anyway after rook f3. So this you have to take, I guess. Takes, takes. c4 is the most natural move in the world here. c4 is also logical, blocking this bishop out. Bishop c2 rook takes, f2. logical enough as well. Knight e7, knight f4, huh? Yeah, 97, I don't know. There are alternatives. I don't know. Rook g6. Or 93. Or 97. Keeps the option of giving a check here on g6, maybe. So it makes some sense. Even that check might not be that dangerous after king h7. Yeah. And if rook takes d6 here, that is 92 check. Excuse me. There's a fork. Yeah, excuse me. This seems to be. But this is, this is dangerous for black, right? After knight, uh, because d6 and h6 are both very weak. After knight g6, you shouldn't take. No, you can't this. take. And rook takes d6. Oh, no, sorry, we're falling for the same trick. Hmm. So take. Fork. Yeah. And Daniel Friedman has resigned after mm -hmm. 
Too many of his pieces got taken. Knight e1, knight takes e1, and Rapport didn't, didn't even recapture, which was also good. What's that? He didn't want to. Free rook, why not? And then takes he took the other knight. <laughs> knight bd3, no, he took. Goodness. You're running out of stuff. Yeah, Daniel. Get a little carried away there with all these squares on the, on the queen side. I guess, with hindsight, this bishop takes b5. Turned out to favor white. Mm. To play one of these weird, weirder, slower moves like rook to c7. Mm -hmm. Because here, it looked active, but Rapper just has more pieces in the danger zone. And yeah, Friedman was lost quickly. So, Richard Rapport, three out of four so far, crushing the tournament. Absolutely. Ding has played a4, meanwhile, in his game, trying to grind something from this ending. Yeah, interesting but that Keimer played rook d8, didn't go for ah, but the repetition. He's kind of tricked him now, because after a4, knight a6, there's no king a4 anymore. So, you have to go back. Yeah, so, you think, have to. Uh, Put the king on a3 or something. Vincent wants more then. Any I think repetitions? Vincent wants more now. Yeah. He's an ambitious, ambitious fella. <laughs> Do you know who else is an ambitious fella? Uh, I'm a Sebastian. Oh. Sebastian. Sebastian? Which Sebastian? Fella. Over ambitious, you could argue. <laughs> Does he still play? I don't know, I haven't seen of course, him for a long time. He is a fellow who was embroiled in some controversy a few years ago. Was there a controversy? You trolling? No, I didn't think it was that controversial. No? Sebastian Feller? Yeah, wasn't it? Uh, ah, quite you mean. Established, uh, oh, wait, yeah, right, uh, right, right. Cheat, so right uh, yeah. Uh, There's that, of course. Yeah. So Vincent. Whenever I think of Vincent, uh -huh. I don't think of Van Gogh. Which Vincent do you think of? Cassel. Cassel? Yeah. Uh -huh. Good actor. Yes, we all know. La Anne is your favorite movie. It is. Of all time. It's a great movie. Uh -huh. It's actually up there with one of my favorite movies. Vincent Keimer, 94, and he's feeling, uh, he's feeling it. So if you go F3, he wants to flick in A5 check. This is the key is vision took. Uh -huh. Intermezzo. Intermezzo, because if king b5, knight takes c3 is check. And if you go back to b3, now I can take on d5. and. Uh, or you can go check, but yeah, you can go what check. What is this? And then take Black it's just, here? Yeah, it's, What's just going on? it's just losing for white. This is just losing. The king is bad, awful yeah. on a three. Yeah, e four. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Mm -hmm. This is bad. The knight can reroute mm. to d six. It's just a little bad. No, oh. I've got a I've got a weird feeling here that uh, that yeah, Vincent can win. Questions. Yeah. Compi says why should bail out now with your and C5, C5 similar idea. idea it makes yeah. a lot of sense. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Not something not you easy. love to do. No. I don't know if Ding's going to do that, but we'll see. C4 played by MBL, by the way. Yeah. Which apparently is a massive it's mistake. Natural, but, but computer really hates it here. Queen e3, rook f3, and what, queen e1 or something, or what, queen d2. That looks like a mess, I don't know. I mean, it might be bad, but <coughs> I, know, it's I can this move. why he would be It's this move, knight, to this impossible yeah, move, knight f4. Yeah, we reached this position earlier. Knight f4? Don't ask me why. So if What's I take, I take, I take on d6, and you just have everything hanging, even with a check. There's just nothing yeah, to do. This is hard to do. You have to find knight f4 a while, a while away, which is not easy. Maybe you don't have to. Maybe you can go here, just attack the pawn without any mm -hmm. 
any craziness. But no, after c4, Magnus plays bishop c2. He doesn't want any part of this mess. Trying to keep things under control. And that gives Maxime another chance to transpose to the line we were looking at earlier with takes, 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 take on f2. And things should be roughly equal. But anything could still happen. Knight c5 looks sort of principled, insisting on making stuff happen here, but then the knight is a bit off sight in, in this action. I don't know, it's actually it's all very complicated to me. I have rook f3, now we can take. Mm -hmm. And if b takes c4? Yeah. Ah, now knight c7 exists and rook takes d6. Still random, but here with the weak. Black King, this is not so surprising that white should be better also. Mm -hmm. F4 looks nice. Wow. Mm. Big clash here. Let's see, must be extra motivated Ooh, after having ding lost the first game. Ding played F3! Massive, A5 massive happening. moment. Massive moment. Knight C5, he's going to do exactly what we said. He'll put the King on D6, E4. And Vincent is big favorite. Look at that. It's wow. Ding is playing just dreadfully, huh? Vincent's nodding. Sorry? Vincent is nodding. Yeah, when, when Vincent starts to nod, you, you, you pay attention. Yeah. Rook d6? But he doesn't take. Why is rook d6? Uh, he wants e4 anyway, or what? Yeah, not sure. Of course, taking and undoubling the pawns is a bit counterintuitive, but it looked very strong. Yeah, just, but you're getting so much momentum. Uh -huh. Rook d6 played. Bishop d1 by Ding, trying to bring his bishop to cover as many pawns as possible. Now that c4 is no longer on prees. Rook d5 might still be good, but usually you don't go. Rook d6 and then rook d5. So what's he gonna do? e4? I think e4 or rook takes d5. The uh, thing is, maybe Vincent is also not realizing that he's better, according to the computer. Maybe he just wants to sit tight. Nah. Do nothing. Nah. I don't know. I wouldn't be too surprised, but... Something like this. Yeah, he's got no risk now. Or at least very little. No. Actually, maybe it's just zero risk here for black. If you just sit, I don't see how white can ever win. But maybe black can't ever win either. Maybe it's a I think he's going to go for it. I think he's going to go for it. E4, either this or the next move. I think he's going to go for it. I don't think so. No? No. Okay. All right. We've got to get these Diet Cokes down from six years oh. ago. We've got a Diet Coke? Nah, I'm off Diet Cokes. Uh. Okay. Um, what do you do nowadays? Water. Water? Yeah, just still water. Out of the tub. All right, I'll... We can... I'm on a journey. Okay. You're on a journey? Mm-hmm. To Valhalla? Mm. I don't know where it's going to take me. <laughs> Open to everything. This is no way Vincent just passes here. I think he see, he feels the moment. A lot about chess is, is feeling the moment. Uh -huh. And I think he feels the moment. But he's going to give it a good think, which is the correct thing to do. So once you feel the moment, you th should think it. Yeah? Um, feel, feel first, think later, yes. Mm -hmm. And if you feel it's not the moment you should not think, or like...? No, you should still think. So uh, you should always think. Think first. But you just said feel first. Feel first, mm -hmm. think after. Whether your feeling is good or bad. Okay, so if you feel the moment you should think, and if you don't feel the moment you should also think. Correct. <laughs> Some advice, boys and girls. Correct. 
Sometimes you can feel the energy of your opponent. Like you can see Ding's nervous energy, his body language. He doesn't look thrilled. Yeah, he looks really nervous, and this is what I would be picking up. Mm -hmm. And whatever move I would play next, I would play in a sort of... Your decisions are often based on your opponent's body language, right? I yes. Mean, it's, it's a big, big effective for you then. Yes. The position of the board. Yeah, the moves the themselves. In the Magnus and VL game, we're headed down this road we were talking about. They got this end game. And VL can now take on F2. He can also play some other move. Mm -hmm. It's a pawn. Take it. And it seems like it's still roughly equal, even though some potential fireworks. The main line went something like this. Check. King h7, important move. Takes, takes. Rook ah. takes d6. Bishop g4. And tiny plus for white. But Maxime is about to not take. He wants to, I don't know, move the rook. It looked like he was getting ready to play like rook a8. No, bishop e8. Ooh, a little bit passive, but okay. Comes the square, gets out of the D file. Maybe he's preparing Bishop H5. Nice maneuver. I was Magnus. I would play Rook D2, cover the pawn. But I'm not. Do you remember when you played Johann Solomon, but it wasn't Johann Solomon? Yeah, I remember being asked about it every day. Oh, no, you're August not. 2015. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Really? Ruined my life. Basically ruined my life. But no, what did you mean? It was, no, it didn't. It's painful. It made you famous. Yeah. That's the kind of fame you want to. You remember when Magnus beat you with a different account. Isn't that funny? He used an IM's <laughs> account and the IM played better than the IM would typically play. Hilarious. And yeah, I'm not over it. One of my favorite clips, by the way. I know. Really. I've watched it quite a few times. I know. But, uh, you have some weird, I don't know what to call it, fetishes. What, watching you get beaten by Magnus? OK. Exactly. All right, Vincent, come on. This is your moment. Come on. He's going to take. He's going to do something with e4. I don't know how he's going to do it, but he's going to do it. I think he's going to take, take king d6, c4, and then go for it with e4, with this white king so badly placed. Yep. Yeah. Could happen, but it's going to be tougher since he already went rook d6. Yeah, once, that's the only issue. Once he put the rook there, it's much harder to even think about capturing on the next move. But he's taking a big, big time out here. That's what I like about Vincent. He invests, I've noticed already, when he really identifies critical moments, critical positions, he gives it. He spent a lot of time in the critical moment, but then played knight to a6. Well, this doesn't change very much, but. Um, doesn't it? Well. Bishop c2, what's the move back? I don't think he realizes he could be better. I think he's just trying to keep it together. He wants to go knight c7. That's what I was thinking. Force the rook trade like this and put a king on c5. And then you can put the knight on d6. and Keep shuffling. Yeah. And then um, white has to put a king on b3 and a bishop on d3. And then you're trying to look for a zook, but there isn't one right. No, I don't think there is one. Yeah, interesting idea. Can white... No, white has to, has to exchange rooks. Eventually. Well, no. Well, yeah, you do, sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can go rook d3, but it's the same thing. So. Bishop c2 played, knight c7, takes, takes. 
I've got an absolutely in no, it's just too insane. I'm gonna get killed for suggesting it. Mm -hmm. Am I? How ridiculous and it is ridiculous, but how ridiculous after knight c seven is bishop e four? What what what? B4? Uh, B4, yeah. B4, sorry. Yeah, probably fairly. And like takes, pawn. takes with the pawn. I know it looks completely insane. I want to get my yes, king is. to <laughs> C, yeah. I wanted to go and put my king on C3 just in time. That's completely lost, what are we? What are yeah, we <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I know. I just thought, is there any element of a fortress here? But there's just no. not. Yeah, it's just so insane. I, I can't even believe I suggested it. So okay, well, we get this now. Space. Knight a6, now he wants to go back. Make up your mind, Vincent. Why is it going here now? It's not like this knight is doing very much. Okay, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe. White has to wait anyway, but it looks like. Because pawn and games, I guess, are fine for white. Yeah. Oops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got enough tempi here to waste as white. Yeah, but even if you lose a pawn, it's still not. Oh over yeah. Right. No. Uh, actually, it is. I oh, there's a b5. That's. Ah, no, b5 is coming. We don't want that. But yeah, you don't have to. So then goes g4. Ooh. But hang on, g4. Compi not in love. Maybe that's. Some of this tempi that we needed for later. Knight c5 played. Why is g4 such a big deal? I don't get it. Bishop c2 e4. Should go somewhere and now. And you're now in. Now we're running in. Now we're really in. With the pawn g4. Yeah. This is no, this is massive. Oh, oh wow. So g4 was a mistake. g4, big mistake, ding. Why is that? I'm still confused. So if we just wait, king b2. No, you put the bishop on c2. King a3, then there's nothing. Ah, king a3. After g4, knight c5, we're in Zugzwang, yeah? Like, wow. this position with the pawn on g2 was fine. Yeah. Right. Pawn on g4 is not here. Yeah, h3, h6, h4, and it's some sort of mutual Zugzwang. That's very complicated. Now h5 takes king c7. And still e4. Wow, you have that's to give up all your pawns. That's right? tough. That's, that's tough. If we see that, that's going to be game of the round. That would be very spectacular. You give up, I don't know how many pawns. You already pawned down, you give up two more pawns, then you make a quiet move, and then you win. That's pretty sick. Special, huh? Look at these white pawns, by the way, in this position. Have you. You don't see it every day that white is three pawns up in a. Oh, Bishop of Light and Game we could, get it. And could, we could get it. He has to resign. We could get it. H4. He has to go H6. You have to go H6. Sorry, was it H5? Sorry. H5 is also good too. It's H5, G5? No, earlier we had H3, H6, H4, H5. So here was H5. And if G5? G5. Oh, I can just can take. Create a pass yeah, it's control. over actually. It's <laughs> just immediately over. I just take the bishop. Sorry. It's immediately over. H5 is very tough. No, H, no he'll find H5. Mm -hmm. He finds H5. But H5 takes king c7 and Zugzwang. It's very sick also that yeah, this e4 breakthrough wins for black. But he could find it. No, he finds it. I have faith. Mm -hmm. Seems very, very difficult. As John F. Kennedy once said, Not Ich right. bin ein Believer. Oh, funny. Because he said Berliner, right? But you, but you changed it to a believer. Because, because believe. I believe in. I thought that was. You, you like Murdoch. You. Murdoch? Rupert? No. Oh, what am I thinking of? No. Another guy? I was thinking of Mulder from X Files. <laughs> 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 yeah. He wants to believe. Uh, David Duchovny. That's the guy. Gillian Anderson. That's the girl. Can't remember anybody else. But I think nah, it was just those two. Bickering. Okay. Wow. Never watched X Files. That yeah. takes me back. The X Files. I can remember the intro music. Do 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 do. So why is H five so important? If we go King C seven, that's also wins. Also wins. Yeah. 
Everything's weird. He goes Just age chill. five. Ich bin ein believer. Wow. I knew it. GH, and now he finds yeah, king c7, yeah, trust. That was a sick part where you have to... Because, well, there are no other moves, Just so. wait, and then... But there are no other moves. Through. There are no other moves. It's, it's not like you can move the knight here. Ooh, I'll be, you can. I mean, you can, but I'll be very disappointed. Oh, oh he's oh, giving him look the, the Vincent Keimer look. Yeah, the quick look. King c7, bishop moves, e4. This is so natural. Vincent has never seen that movie. Don't look up. Keeps no, he's never seen that movie. He's and seen it. He moves the king. It's good he's enough. Good. good enough. So the last hurdle is if the bishop moves, which it will, do you go e4? Yeah, you just do. Just you roll just, with it? You just do. I mean, it's so natural. There's just, you, you park the king on e5, f4. There's no breakthrough. It's, it's just beautiful. Still. I've never seen anything like this where you just you're literally three pawns down and just totally winning. Just totally winning quietly. Amazing. Got Clearance sacrifices. What this is bad bishops can be. Yeah. This is like the perfect game this to show you. It's like a sacrifice. model good knight bad bishop. Game. Yeah, it really is. I'm gonna be using this. Where? Where? Yeah. For my own purposes. Hmm. You know, some people like they study still, it. well, some people still watch me and or want to learn some stuff. I, Where some, can people watch you? They can't watch me, but they could. Sometimes they want to learn. Uh -huh. You know, so I can still teach them. So you have a full-time job, and you're still a chess teacher. From time to time, I do some chess lessons. Yeah. When do you find time for? I don't. The the pleasures of life. There, like, do you still, I there are no you pleasures. Dance? Are, are no. you are you out there? Like no pleasures. Wow. No nothing. No, life is, this is my pleasure, being here with you. I know. Not really, but. No, it is. Well. This is your holidays. It is my holiday, correct, it is my holidays. This is brilliant. What a player. Wow, a German world champion, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, no pressure. We haven't had one since, well, Steinitz wasn't even German, right? Have we ever had a German war champion? 27 years. Lasker? Yes. Was he German German? <laughs> I don't know what your categories are, but he was German. Where was he born? No idea. Berlin? Was Lasker born in Berlin? I don't know. A lot of Lasker stuff happening in Berlin. <laughs> this is where normally we would have chat and we'd be able to, but we've got mm. maybe the the producer can let us know. If By the way, we got confirmation from Peter Leko. Oh. He's a big fan of the firm. I, I told you. I knew it. Peter, you never let me down. Huge, huge news. I don't think I've seen that one. It's, it's hmm. the best one. By a million miles. Okay. If I find it for you, I'll send you a copy. No, that's okay. I can, I can look it up. No, no, but Perfect. it's not like available. You're just like random. You, you have to kind of buy you have it. to know a guy? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have yeah. to know a guy. This is a bit like the firm, this game. Yeah, this is just beautiful. I mean, so this the is The king can't move because then we drop the pawn. The bishop has to go somewhere. Or you can throw in h6, doesn't matter, g, h, h5. Black just keeps king waiting six, yeah. till the bishop moves anywhere, really. And Vincent, then with that look. There's this breakthrough. Takes, no matter how wide takes. It's very unfortunate, actually, because now you're not in time to go f4, build a wall, because the bishop is hanging. <sighs> Holy, look, I mean, this is position these, is just so beautiful. The king just goes. Literally just take all the pawns. All the pawns. And there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you need way too long. You can try and come back and we take F3, I guess. No, we don't us. even take anything, apparently. No, this, this is, this is too much. This look is at this. <laughs> Mighty three. We are no, no, pawn no, and no. game. Three pawns down. No, no, no. This is beautiful. No, this is too much. <laughs> this is like retire from chess stuff. No, this is too much. This is amazing stuff. No, this is too much. I'm sorry. Let's bring the knight. You know pawn and game, three pawns down. Carsten Muller, is this in your book? Carsten, if you're watching, this is, this is going to be in your book. Holy cow. Now we take all the pawns. Wow, that's, that's just too much. Well, Vincent knows as well. 
By the way, there's been action in Magnus against MBL. We should go there. Yeah, but briefly. We, we want to keep watching this end game. So after bishop e8, Magnus went f4. Very yeah. aggressive. Bishop h5 hits the rook. Rook goes. E f4, mistake. <gasps> what is this? There's all these sick tactics today. Knight c7. Wow. Why exactly? And he spots it. Wow. Knight takes, rook takes d6. That's it, gg. And if king h7, e5, check. Mm. Holy cow. But rook f7, e5. E5, oh my goodness. Guy's really producing masterpieces today. And the point is after rook g7, rook h6, king g8, now you can just finally take. reclaim the piece. Yeah. With massive. Takes, takes. And either takes or check. Wow, the check is so pretty as well. Now that's it. That's mm. going to be GG. What a move, knight c7. <laughs> knight c7. Take a bow, Magnus Carlsen. Ma oh, what a day for MVL. <laughs> He's going to write this one off. This one goes straight in the bin. And a rough day at the yeah, office. Yeah, rough day at the office for MVL today. Whew. Knight c7. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. That is stunning. Okay, bishop c6 on the board in the D. Oh, yeah, are we going to get go e4? time for, for Vinny K? Has to e4? play f4. Uh, he might go king d6 first because he gets. Oh no, then bishop, then bishop e4. Bishop e4 and we're yeah, back yeah. to square one. He's definitely going e4. Thinking here. about it. moment. Vinny K? That's what we call him. Really? Yeah. Actually? Yeah, yeah, everybody calls him Vinny K. I've never heard that in my life. Um, it's, it's what they call him. They? They, yeah. Uh, people. E4 Vinny. played. Beautiful. Vinny K on fire, giving ding. Little look. Yeah, yeah, this is... Such Peter a... is going to be so happy watching this at home. Peter's having a heart attack there, waiting for I could, E4 I'm to glad, happen. I'm actually happy Peter. that he's not here. Yeah, yeah. He this wouldn't be, be too much for him. It's way too emotional. Yeah. Fe, king d6, only move. And here comes the king. Bishop d5, only move, basically. Or bishop a8, actually, maybe. But Doesn't matter. What a useless bishop. Can't attack anything. Can't defend anything. Well, can't okay, defend so, let, so bishop back to c6. Can I just take on e4? Or is it too premature? No, I can. You can. Ah, because I just take f5 it. and it's just, it's yeah, just it's really over. Some point you have to take no, I, I mean, I wouldn't even go king f4 here. I would yeah, just take, just take e4. Yeah. It's good. And then this drops. Wait, and if takes, takes, c5 takes, king b3, king f5, king c4. Up to king b3. Ah, you can also wait. just shut the door with king d3. b3, oh my goodness. What a, a lesson in domination. King and pawn, rook versus knight, uh, rook versus, uh, sorry, knight versus bishop. What a lesson in domination. We're going to get three decisive results. Very much looks like it. What a round. I'll be honest, are I, I haven't been this excited about a round since my second year at university. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure where you were going to go with this. I thought maybe yeah. Rocky vs. Apollo Creed or something. Uh. Rest in peace. Yep. Wow. We've lost a lot of good people this year. Okay, what we got going on here? We've got a lot of moves. Rook G1, Bishop I D1. Wanna, uh. Ah, this is just a piece. Yeah, he... Decided not to go down passively, and in typical Maxim style. Yeah, but f3, knight f4 is just... Decided to go for bishop g4. One last stand, but it's not working. No, f3, what is so the cleanest way against f3? He has to go... F3 is no, rook go. f2. Rook f2. Oh, logical enough. Rook g2? Just rook f1, I guess. Mm -hmm. And there's a pin. Oh my goodness. Can't go f2. Ah, oh, that's brutal. So he goes rook f1. 
Okay, now we need just a, a good move. Yeah, just knight d4. Knight d4 is so clean, isn't it? Knight yeah, this is over. Peace up. In Mr. Carlson's hands, should suffice. Most kings too. I think he goes knight d4 reorganizing here. Because he's also threatening b5. Yeah, f3, king c2. And you're pinned. Yeah, that's not enough to work with here for Maxime. Yeah, Let's look at the final yeah, stages of the Vincent yeah. game. He's yeah, just going to go. Winning the race. Side. What a game. <gasps> he blundered. Oh, oh, oh as, as I said it, what's going on? King b3, king f5. What did he do? c5, bc, he, king c4. He had to go to g4. When right? king e4, it was, st was still complicated. Why is e4 losing? Uh, why is e4 drawing? Let's figure this out. King here, f5. c4, f4. c4, f4. King g6, g6 f3. f3. c5, f2, c6, f1. This is a draw? Apparently. In what universe is this a draw? This is the c7. sickest position I've ever seen. This is a draw? No way. No yeah, way. It's on the board. C7. This is absolutely brutal. And apparently this was winning with the king on G4. Because you take, you can all, the take all the pawns and win the pawn and game. Oh my goodness. And now, seems to be a draw. This is sick. This is actually one Let of the sickest positions. You, you have check checks? This. We can you keep can't giving even checks, take a pawn but then the king probably hides on a8 and he... But I can even take a pawn here, right? Like, I can even play queen takes a4 and play that queen ending and I've got good chances. No, that's a draw. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I know. Why is it a draw? I take the pawn yeah. on a... No. The problem is you can't get closer because the pawn controls the b5 square. No, but what I'm saying, Jan, is I take I the pawn what on you're a4. Saying, but I understand um, it's a theory. It's still a draw. I understand theoretically it's a draw, but I think practically, like, if I put the queen on d4 and just play a4 and your king is on a8, I'm still going to win that position a lot. Okay. Like, it looks fairly drawn to me. <laughs> this is just, like, never fairly drawn. All right. Like, does you have to worry about all the queen d5 checks randomly blocks? No. It's a death draw, what are you talking okay. about? Okay. <clears throat> Wow, you just have this random h6, and you haven't calculated queen d5 at all. Like, it's just it's like queen ending with two versus two. This is a weird. What take. two versus two? It's one versus one, and I have a passed pawn. Two versus two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is absolutely no, anyway, brutal. This is a draw, but yeah, th this position is a draw. It's, it's just it's insane. Strange, and and yeah. And this was hard to display because normally you just calculate that you get your queen first and yeah. then you stop. You're like oh, yeah, he had to go for this. 210 PR. And then the same way now you can go for any pawn game. Um. Yeah, and the difference is you just go behind and you just. Yeah, I mean. Queen F5 it and doesn't resigns. Yeah, like, it's just no, resigns. You just take the pawn. Wow. Queen. It's pretty sick that even here, you know, How time. is this just a draw? How is this even fair? Oh, sorry. Not well, you have this to queen. Losing. Yeah, we have to queen, sorry. Uh, uh, this mouse is not agreeing with me. Isn't this it? feels like it's close, but... In, by one tempo? No. White is just in time here to take King G3. the A pawn. Two, 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 yeah. Oh, this mouse is a pain. Wow. Uh. That's absolutely brutal that this is one tempo as well. Oh, my God. Okay, just, uh, just don't put the king on B6. No, 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 that loses. Yeah. That's the only trick. Wow. Mm. And why is it just the time? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty sickening. Wow. That's Poor Vincent, because it was such a modern masterpiece he was playing. And oh my we talked goodness. about this position with, with three pawns down, and then he gets a winning position by walking in here. By the way, it wouldn't surprise, like, after King One E4, King a E4. lot of players might just resign here as wide, by the way. Yeah. Maybe push. See what happens. <clears throat> Yeah. Holy cow. And it's a key factor that there are eight pawns on the board, so the queen can't go to b5, drive the white king into the corner. 
I think he's going to end up going for that A-pawn ending, and I think that the odds of him winning are still... Yeah, you're still just as wrong as you were earlier. Uh, well, am I? But yeah, poor Vincent. I'm a Vincent. Um, I'll take 10 to 1. It's um, amazing. He's going to be kicking himself. Cause of course. King g4, of course. He just thought everything wins. So you don't even think about it. But it was only King g4. Wow. Probably got a rush of adrenaline. Rush of blood to the head. Yeah. How's Magnus doing? Magnus converting? Oh, also not so clear. What? Every game we're riding off immediately. Stuff happens. He's got 15 seconds, Magnus. And Enviel laughing, Enviel with a smirk. But look at the move he had to play. All the moves are sick today. He had to play knight to what h5 is this here. Move? Yeah, this is just the most... It's like the engine's broken. No, it's a great move, knight h5. Yeah, what did tough. he do? He went check, check. knight and king c2. And why is this a draw? h5, knight e5, f2! All of a sudden... Oh my god! Goodness. You have to be careful not to. Can you loop bishop g4, rook c1 check? Well, he's gone rook g6. But he king h7, seven, so but now you have to go. Six, but take. Oh What's my goodness. You can lose it. If he loses, that's it. Tournament might be over. He might yeah, just yeah, go yeah. Home. He, just, he might just leave. Now he just leaves if he loses today. There's just no way he continues. Nah, I think there is a way. I would think it's but 90% he, actually. But he's got 15 so seconds and this is an impossible position. Yeah, rook f6, rook f6 bishop yeah, takes focused. d1. Bishop d1, king d2, and then king e3. Bishop g4. He might still win here, king e3. Ah, king e3, and if I take on e4, probably hold. Mm. Oh, no, I've got rook e2 check. Uh, how do I do this? So if I go bishop d1, king d2, bishop g4, king e3, rook e1 check. King takes f2. Are you making all the moves in your head? Or yes. Wow. Rook e2. King g3. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, do I take on e4 or take on b2? This is, the, this is what I don't have clear. Okay, I take on e4. Okay, yeah, and I should make a draw here as black because I cover. Yeah, rook g6. Uh -huh. rook, I've got rook g6. The king no, on... Rook f5. I'm not sure that helps you very much. Ah, rook g6, rook f5. Rook... Oof. Oof. Rook e4? What's this move? Rook a and then rook e2, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Stay with it. Wow. King to e3. Yeah, rook e1. And rook takes e4. Maybe you go rook e4 without rook e2. Well, Magnus not going to lose, most likely. But he might not win this after being a piece up. Oof, he'll be sick. And probably we underestimated the practical chances Max seems to have. Because Compi was, of course, saying, game is over. Wow. He's a tricky guy. That is unbelievable. Vincent, Queen F. Ah, uh, Queen F. What is going on here? He's gaining some time on the clock. Yeah, but the, his problem is he can't. He's going to win. Need, you need the square. Yeah. You, you don't have access to it. So he's now realizing it's a draw and he's not happy. Queen d7, king b8. Oof. Brutal. Tough break. And of course, he's also realizing that if his king was here, the game would be over. So he's kicking himself a little bit. The good news for him is he still has great winning chances in the queen end game if he takes on a4. Um, and. Some developments here. Yeah, let's stick with, with this one. Rook h4. Probably it's just a draw, huh? <clears throat> rook h1, and you attack whatever pawns are left undefended, or rook g4, same, same thing. Yeah, and Use you... Use the h-pawn yeah. as a decoy. And yeah. It. Okay, so Vincent did take the a-pawn, and... Oh. I'll take my 10%. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Looks winning. Oh, I think he wins. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, King H3, just rook E4 now, yeah, A4. Is Magnus going to grind this out? I guess not, yeah, rook E3. Rook E2. Counterplay. I like rook E3. Just force uh, to gain king. a tempo, you mean? Okay, just force the king back, king h4, rook e4. Why king h4? He'll go king g2 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a6 also. Ah, this is the professional way. A6. Ah, yeah, now you make the rook passive. Now rook e6 and rook b6 go. <sighs> Do you have to be careful? No. Rook e4 check and rook e6 will be played. Yeah, he could also go rook b6. If he wants to force it, things go rook b6. No, he's going to go rook e4, rook e6. 100%. Right again. <laughs> uh, really can't have Vincent wins winning this. Uh, yeah, rook c5, rook b6. It is just. Should have gone rook b6 directly. Check. Okay. It's a draw, of course, but. I think he's going to come with the king. King f5, rook a6, king e4. Jettison the, uh, the h pawn. Meanwhile, uh, no, he, go, he goes backwards. Wow. Oh, draw and ding versus Vincent. <laughs> it's a bit surprising to me because I thought <laughs> this end game. No, but he has a, he has the. <laughs> yeah, that's what's that draw. Um, <laughs> yeah, tough break, tough, tough, tough. break for Awful. Vincent Keimer, who yeah, played a masterpiece and then when he thought it was over, went king e4, which looks winning because he queens first, but study like fashion. This was not losing while well, after King G4, Ding could have resigned and would have fairly shortly after. So when we thought we were getting three decisive games, we might just get one, just, might just get the one. Because this is also, I think it's fairly straightforward fairly straight. draw, you put the pawn on H2 and chill. Chillax. Yeah, this is an easy draw. There's nothing even to really worry about now. Oof. Wow. What a round, huh? Unbelievable round. Poor Vincent. Poor Vincent. That's Poor devastating. Peter Leko. Poor Peter Leko. We should mention we'll Peter Leko, who was supposed to do com commentary here, but he got sick, so he couldn't join us. Um, and he's also Vincent Keimer's coach, mentor, advisor. And Peter's one of the few guys in chess who care. We all pretend we care. We're we rooting for this guy. But Peter actually cares deeply. I care. Okay, you, you and Peter. Um, <laughs> but Peter actually cares deeply. And of course, he's rooting very hard for Vincent every game. So this must have been a roller coaster. H2, King, D6 will be played. One last try. C4. C4 played. Actually. No, you go rook b4 here, right? Oh no, rook b4, king d6, and your rook is stupid. Um, what do you do here, actually? Ah, uh, maybe you just come with the king to c8. Chill. But king d5, and you have to start calculating, or what? What did he come for? I don't know. Rook, what did he do? Rook d2. Ah, this is good. This is the way. He this actually is, has chess culture. Yeah, he really does. This is the way. And now the king, the king sits c5, but the king comes to c8, and it's a5, and you just chill. And when the king comes to e3, you go rook a2 at the right moment. You can even do it what now. What do you do when the pawn comes to a7? You can even do, do it now, rook a2. Ah, rook a2, c6, one last trick. Maxim goes rook d1, he's such a sicko, he gives up the pawn, wow, wow showing is, off that he can this is really showing hold off. these pawns. This is really showing off. Wow. I mean, I would... He didn't do it to show off, he felt he was dangerous, so the a pawn. So rook h6 at the board. and just... But if he loses, he's going to really hate himself. Yeah, I've seen people lose this plenty. Yeah. I mean, it's a draw. Everybody learns that F and H or A and C is a draw. 
Especially with the king cut off like it is. Yeah, you have plenty of checks when the king here. The pawns aren't arranged. A little scariest battle formation. But still. No, no, it's a decision. Rook h6 played. Yeah, Magnus. Ah, he can, for action. he can give perpetual. He, can give, he can give endless checks with yeah. the setup with the, these squares covered. Ah, oh my never. goodness, how sick is that? He can just give checks. But the king goes to e7, and then there's rook. And then, yeah, you can still go. Even the king and pawn. Is the king and pawn winning? A drawing? No, it's lost. Ah, uh, because a6. Is uh -huh. it? Yeah. So he goes king c7. Wow. But you're kind of. I don't know. I'd lose this 100 out of 100. No. Rook a1, rook a5. Yeah, I'd lose. Rook d7, check king e6, king c6 is just. Yeah, that's nice. That's yeah. just for sick, sick humans. No, I like it. Yeah, because you cover a7. Yeah. That's really beautiful. But rook a1 is the. <coughs> yeah, the king is just Logical the wrong way. side. There's just nothing to do now, actually, because rook a5 is just a... <laughs> you can lose with white with king e6 for getting rook takes a6. <gasps> it's not that simple. Wow. What was that? What happened? Rook a1, rook d6? Yeah. Okay, so what do you do against rook d6? I don't know. I guess nothing. But... It's far from easy, all this wood. Oh my goodness. Rook h1. No, he's going to lose. If he loses this, he'll really be disgusted with himself. Because there were so many ways. He didn't have to be cute at all in that ending. There were a thousand ways just to get a simple loot um, Philidor. Yeah, so. He might hold. It's still a draw. But <clears throat> there's all kinds of trickery. Rook h1, I would find it. But a7 now is a threat all of a sudden. And it takes uh, rook d7, winning the pawn game. Rook d6 played. This yeah. is it. Magnus. Or did he play rook f6? Oh no, he went rook f6. Oh no. Now rook a5 rook works. A5, I no. didn't manage to ask the question. That was the one oh, question no. she had to ask. Rook d6, rook a5, a7. Now it's simple again. Oh man. Oof. Magnus is going to be kicking himself. He must play rook d6. He played rook f6. That's really yeah, uncharacteristic. Is not, yeah. not asking a question. No, it's just over. No. Take the pawn. Wow, he's going to be sick, Magnus. To not win this, he's going to be really, really, really upset. What a round. A lot of drama started early with Daniel Friedman getting his pieces all tied up against Richard Rapport and losing. Then Vincent Keimer looked like he was on the way to create a modern masterpiece against Ding Liren, sacrificing three pawns and quietly entering the black position with his king.